The UN kicked off its annual global gathering with a tribute to its host, planet Earth, and a nod to the many issues threatening its inhabitants. We meet at a moment of great peril for our world. Conflicts and climate catastrophe, mistrust and division, poverty, inequality and discrimination. Dramatic visuals meant to inspire action to protect the environment and dramatic words, first from American poet Amanda Gorman. I only ask that you care before it's too late, that you live aware and awake, that you lead with love in hours of hate. I challenge you to heed this call. I dare you to shape our fate. Next, from global pop sensation, Black Pink. We can't deny that the climate crisis is getting worse. There isn't a single moment to lose. Nobel laureate Malala Yousafzai focused on education, which has seen setbacks globally thanks to COVID and conflict. In countries like Ethiopia, Ukraine, and other countries are keeping girls like Yelizaveta out of the classroom. If you are serious about creating a safe and sustainable future for the children, then be serious about education. Samaya Faruqi was once the captain of the Afghan girls' robotics team. Now, girls like her are forbidden from attending school. The Taliban is slowly erasing our existence in the society. Thousands of girls may never return back to school. Many have already been married off. Climate, COVID, and conflict, all three continue to weigh on the UN's workload, with poor countries suffering the most. But in the words of the Secretary General, geopolitical divides are putting us all at risk. Singing sensation Angelique Kidjo ended the event on an upbeat note. Come Tuesday, it will be the most powerful countries in the world in the crosshairs. Kristen Salumi, Al Jazeera, the United Nations.